Hey everyone, I'm Joe from Urban Starts Golf. Now, if you're new here, firstly, hi. Please take a second, hit that subscribe button, make sure you don't miss out on any of the reviews or any of the vlogs that I've got coming out on a weekly basis. If you're not new here, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so practicing at home, whether it's during the winter when your course is closed or whether you're in some sort of national lockdown and can't go outside, it's difficult, it's never ideal, but these may just have made it a whole lot easier for a whole lot of people. So these balls from Inesis, they've almost been designed to be like the ultimate indoor golf ball. They're the same size as a normal golf ball. They weigh more or less the same. And they even have the core of a real golf ball inside them. The only difference is they're covered in this thin layer of polyurethane foam, which makes them really soft. So they're kind of like firm, but spongy. Now that soft layer on the outside, it serves a couple of purposes. Firstly, they, they call it impact protection. So basically, it softens the impact of anything that hits. So, you know, foot of a door, leg of a sofa, skirting board, things like that. So when it hits them, it doesn't cause as much damage, basically. Now, I don't see that as licensed to throw them at a wall or you know, throw them at the TV, but it certainly wouldn't cause as much damage and probably less likely to smash a window if it did end up hitting it, which I think, from an indoor golf point of view, pretty big benefit. Now, the second point, and probably more importantly, is that it has been designed to replicate the speed and roll of a green, but on hard surfaces. In other words, they've designed a ball to be used indoors so you can practice putting without the need for a mat or carpet, which is pretty cool. Now, there's also another bonus to it in that on the hard surfaces, because it's soft, it doesn't make any noise or makes so little noise compared to you know, a normal golf ball. Because of all the dimples, you know, if you've ever hit a normal golf ball on a hard surface, you'll know that it can make <laughs> quite a big racket. This doesn't have that issue. It's, it's near on silent. Now obviously if you have carpet in your house already or you know, if you have a practice putting mat then this is probably pretty irrelevant to you. I mean, they're still great golf balls. You can still do quite a lot with them, but they are designed for that one specific purpose. So they're great, but if you've got something to practice with already, which allows you to use a real ball, maybe just stick to that. I should also throw in there that these are £6.99. So they're technically the most expensive ball that Inesis sell. But when you look at them as more of a training aid, I think you can kind of justify that price. It's not really that expensive. And if you don't have carpet, or at least usable carpet, then practicing your putting at home can be damn near impossible. Now these genuinely do solve that problem. I've found them to roll as well as a normal golf ball does on a putting mat. Which I think is, is really impressive. And also, I find it quite weird that it's never been done before. All in all, these are a really, really good idea. And as I've come to expect with Inesis now, the execution behind them is great. There is, however, a pretty substantial issue with them. And it actually lies with that soft foam outer layer. Because they're designed to react differently, or so differently to a normal golf ball on hard surfaces, they also react differently off the putter face. Inevitably, it's so much softer off the putter face. So you just don't get the same kind of feel as you would with a normal golf ball. I don't feel like you have to hit the ball any harder to get the same results as you would from a normal golf ball. That layer of foam is thin enough that you're still hitting the core. So you're hitting the ball as you would normally. It's just, it doesn't feel anywhere near the same. At the end of the day, they do exactly what they say on the tin. You know, they are a great ball for practicing on hard surfaces but there is that substantial drawback with the feel and I can see that being a big issue for a lot of people. Having said that, if you are just looking to have a bit of fun, you know, kill a bit of time during lockdown or while your course is closed, or if you're just not worried too much about taking your putting 
practice at home really seriously, then these are a really good alternative, especially given the price and given how well they do the job that they claim to do. I think they're a great alternative to you know, a putting mat and a real ball, or even just carpet and a real ball. I really do rate them. Right, that's all from me. Thanks for watching. Any comments or questions, please drop them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.